Welcome to part three of the Voices of Disney. We're going to pick up right where we left off, so if you haven't seen parts one and two, be sure to check them out. The Little Mermaid was released in 1989, a year after Oliver and Company, and featured Samuel E. Wright as the voice of Sebastian. And don't you shake your head at me, young lady. Maybe there's still time. He can also be heard as Crone, the main antagonist and dinosaur. <laughs> Watch yourself, boy. Not to mention he originated Mufasa on Broadway. The main character of Dinosaur is Aladar, voiced by D.B. Sweeney. Oh no! Attacking lemurs! Sorry, please! Who can also be heard in Brother Bear as Kenai's oldest brother, Sitka. I said knock it off! Now the quicker we get these fish, the faster we're gonna get to your ceremony. Estelle Harris plays one of the characters at the salmon run in Brother Bear. This year, I lost my dear husband, Edgar! Quit telling everyone I'm dead! But also played a chicken in Home on the Range a year after that. but is probably most recognizable as Mrs. Potato Head in the Toy Story films. I'm packing you an extra pair of shoes and your angry eyes, just in case. Patrick Warburton was also in Home on the Range as a horse named, well, Patrick. Yeah, pretty much. Why? You may also recognize him as an alien cop in Chicken Little. Okay, everything's been put back to normal. And of course as Kronk in The Emperor's New Groove. Squeaky, uh, squeak, squeaker, squeaking. After Emperor's New Groove came Atlantis, which had the small part of Fenton Q. Harcourt, voiced by David Ogden Stiers. This museum funds scientific expeditions based on fact. But he's featured much more prominently as Cogsworth. Flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. And the narrator in Beauty and the Beast. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. The Archdeacon in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. You created quite a stir at the festival. Jumba in Lilo and Stitch. Using a little girl for a shield. This is low even for you! As Governor Radcliffe in Pocahontas. We shall be sure to give them a proper English greeting. And Wiggins. Oh, gift baskets! Another voice heard in Atlantis and many other places is that of Corey Burton. Aside from being the current voice of Dale. <laughs> He's played Molière in Atlantis. Harvey Finner in Princess and the Frog. You can kiss that place goodbye. Onus in Treasure Planet. We are all clear, Captain. A burnt citizen in Hercules. Everything except old Snowball here. Prince Ahmed in Aladdin. I'll teach you some manners. <laughs> and he redubbed Deems Taylor's voice for the restoration of Fantasia. Uh, my name is Deems Taylor. Mm, no, it's not. Speaking of Fantasia, Angela Lansbury presented the final segment of Fantasia 2000. A voyage of discovery into the realms of color, sound, and motion. But was also the voice of Mrs. Potts in Beauty and the Beast. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up such wild stories. But you probably already knew that. Did you know that Hal Smith provided the voice for Philippe? Where's Papa? but was also that slobby elephant in the Jungle Book. Yes, sir. And the original voice of Owl. <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> in the 2011 Winnie the Pooh, Tom Kinney provided the voice of Rabbit. Yes, bring some honey. No, oh, the jump rope, Piglet, the jump rope. He may be best known as SpongeBob SquarePants. Because I rip my pants. Ah! <laughs> But he was also Mr. Willerstein and Meet the Robinsons. Lizzie, we talked about the fire ants, you know, that they have a tendency to bite people. Laurie Metcalf played Lucille Crunklehorn in Meet the Robinsons. Is that a bow tie? I like bow ties. I haven't slept in eight days. But also Jim Hawkins' mother in Treasure Planet. Jim, I have had it. Do you want to go to Juvenile Hall? Is that it? And of course, Andy's mom in the Toy Story films. Andy, honey, come on, five minutes and we're leaving. Speaking of mothers, Glenn Close, who played Cruella de Vil in the live-action adaptation of 101 Dalmatians, voiced Kala, Tarzan's adoptive mother. Come stop your crying. It'll be all right. <laughs> Nigel Hawthorne was the voice of Professor Archimedes Q. Porter, Jane's father in Tarzan. Mr. Clayton asked me not to move. He saw something. But he can also be heard as the voice of Fluter Flam in The Black Cauldron. <laughs> oh, he's nice. Isn't he? What's his name? <laughs> Four years before The Black Cauldron, Fox and the Hound was released, in which John McIntyre provided the voice of the badger. Son of boy, where do you think you are going? While his wife, Jeanette Nolan, played Widow Tweed. Oh, Todd, I just can't stay angry with you. 
And four years before that, they had both been in The Rescuers, as Rufus... You listen to me, darling. You're something extra special. ...and Ellie Mae. Are you ready to help rescue that little young... Someone else who was in both of those films was Pat Buttram, chief in Fox and the Hound... Hey there, copper, what you sniffing at? ...and Luke in The Rescuers. Shucks, Ellie Mae. I was just waiting for someone to holler, charge! He could also be heard as Napoleon in the Aristocats. It's squeaky shoes approaching. But is probably most recognizable as the Sheriff of Nottingham in Robin Hood. The family that saves together, pays together. Another staple of that era was Candy Candido, Fidget in The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> no problem. I took care of everything. Nero and Brutus in The Rescuers. <laughs> Captain of the Guards in Robin Hood. The tournament of the Golden Arrow will now begin. Maleficent's goon in Sleeping Beauty. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> Every cradle. And the Indian chief in Peter Pan. Teach him, pale-faced brother, all about Red Man. Someone that's been around more recently is Edie McClurg, originally as Carlotta and the Little Mermaid. I'll just get this washed for you. But more recently as Mary and Wreck-It Ralph. Each apartment is everyone's favorite flavor. And Gerda in Frozen. Chris <laughs> Williams, who was Oaken in Frozen, Woo-hoo. Big Summer Blowout, was also the writer director of Bolt. Bolt is the greatest superhero on television. John DiMaggio played Saul in Bolt. Yes, Mittens. Thank you, Mittens. And then one of the Stabbington brothers in Tangled. It wasn't us, it was the old lady. You can also hear him as Beard Papa in Wreck-It Ralph. This is Beard Papa. The glitch is in the bakery. Get me King Candy. Alan Tudyk most notably was King Candy in Wreck-It Ralph. Find that glitch. Destroy that cart. She can't be allowed to race. But more recently was the Duke of Wesselton in Frozen. Open those gates so I may unlock your secrets and exploit your riches. Did I say that out loud? That's all for now, but be sure to subscribe for more fun Disney-related videos.